Uh, hi everyone, I am Neha. I will be your host for the day. I've been a developer with Zoho Books for the last six years. I've worked on the VAT and e-invoicing launch for multiple jurisdictions. And I will be, uh, I'm excited to take you through the product demo for the webinar for e-invoicing in Kenya today. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the chat box so we can address them before we begin. Since there are no questions, we're diving right into the agenda for today's webinar. We're going to discuss about what e-invoicing is and the requirements that the government of Kenya has brought in for e-invoicing. Next, we will discuss how to transition to e-invoicing in Zoho Books. In addition to that, we're going to discuss about the features that we've built specifically for the Kenya market. After we've walked through this, we'll have a short uh, session on how to get you started with your business in Zoho Books followed by a short Q&A session to address all your queries. Let's get started with electronic tax invoicing. Uh, the Kenyan government had brought in e-invoicing in 2021, but the new deadline to comply with the mandate is 30th November 2022, which means that from December 1st, all VAT registered businesses will have to in issue only uh, e-invoices to their customers. And these e-invoices have to comply with the KRA guidelines. Let's look into the steps that you have to follow in order to comply with the KRA guidelines. First, you have to browse through the KRA website and go through the approved list of ETR suppliers. ETR is nothing but an electronic tax register. Once you pick your ETR, you have to fill in your tax details there, and these details will be sent to the iTax portal of KRA for authentication. Once they're authenticated and validated, you will receive an email confirmation. After this acknowledgement is received, it will be your tax register will be activated by the KRA and you are then eligible to get started with e-invoicing. Let's simplify these steps into five uh, simple options, into five simple steps. Let's simplify e-invoicing with five simple steps. Step one, connect, enable, enter, push and get. To start with, you have to connect with a middleware device. The middleware device is the physical device that the ETR will issue you with. Once you get this physical device, you have to enable port forwarding on it and obtain a public IP. Get this public IP and put it in the ERP solution. Once you've entered this in the ERP solution, you are effectively establishing an integration between your solution and the middleware. Once this integration is set up, you can directly push your invoices to the middleware. The middleware will perform a series of validations. And once these validations are passed, it will send you a verified e-invoice along with a QR code. Let's look at what Kenya businesses are searching for. We, uh, Kenya seems to be looking for cloud software products that have an easy to use UI. Since the transition is not very easy, you need handholding from the software providers to make it an absolute ease to transition into e-invoicing. Uh, you also need to understand how to automate VAT and to make e-invoicing very simple. It's also necessary that the software providers are providing pocket-friendly solutions because we have to accommodate essentially small and medium businesses. Zoho has created a VAT and TIMS compliant accounting software to serve the needs of the Kenyan businesses. Meet Zoho Books, crafted specially for Kenya. Now, Zoho Books is a VAT and TIMS compliant accounting software. What you can do using Zoho Books is you can create invoices, you can record your purchase bills, you can create credit notes, debit notes, and manage your ex expenses effectively. In addition to this, you can also track basic inventory and generate all the reports needed for your business. Let's look at Zoho Books journey so far. Zoho Books has been around for more than a decade now. We worked on and captured multiple markets for VAT compliance and e-invoicing. We had a successful stint in 2017 with uh, GST in India. We've also worked on VAT and e-invoicing in the Middle East markets like UAE, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, and multiple other regions. We're now excited to step into the Kenya e-invoicing market in 2022. We're excited to make this process an absolute ease for the Kenya business owners. Let's look at what Zoho Books has built specially for Kenya. We've worked on VAT returns, comprehensive cloud accounting, inventory management, e-invoicing compliance, customer payments, and over 70 reports that will make it easy for you to handle your business. Let's step into e-invoicing in Zoho Books. Let's look at how to enable e-invoicing, create an e-invoice, and understand what an e-invoice specifically looks like. Step one is enabling e-invoicing in Zoho Books. Before you enable e-invoice in Zoho Books, you need to obtain a middleware device. 
Currently, we support integration with one source solutions e-invoice device, uh, obtain a type C middleware device from them, and then go to books, click on settings, preferences, and click on the e-invoicing tab. Once you've done this, click on the enable radio button that's there on the right hand side. Once you've done this, click on the connect now button where a pop-up will come asking you to fill in certain details. In this screen, you will have to fill in your VAT registration number, enter your public IP from the Type-C middleware device, enter the center ID and the middleware serial number, which you will get from the middleware device directly. Enable the checkbox that says you agree to send the data to the middleware and click on save. Once you've done this, you've effectively established an integration between your ERP solution that is Zoho Books and the middleware device. You can also click on reconfigure if you wish to enter the details again. Step two, creating an actual e invoice. To create an e invoice, click on the sales tab, click on the invoices button, and click on the plus icon right next to it. Enter your customer details, fill in the invoice number, invoice date, and then head to the item section, fill in the item description, enter the item type, and fill in the HS code. Enter the quantity rate and the appropriate BAT. Once you've entered all these details, you can save and push this invoice to the middleware. If you are sure that you have entered all the right details, click on the push button. After clicking the push button, the middleware will perform a series of validations and then send back any errors if there are uh, any errors in your e-invoice. The reasons will be listed to you. T take a look at the reasons, make the corrections, and then you can push the invoice to the middleware again. You, uh, the status will be displayed as failed if your e invoice fails the middleware validations. Once you have rectified the issue and pushed it, the status will be updated to pushed. Once the invoice is successfully pushed, you will be issued with a e invoice which has a QR code. Now that you've generated an e invoice, try, let's learn what an e invoice looks like and what are the fields that are unique to an e invoice. E-invoice contains the registered PIN of the taxpayer or business owner, that is you. It also contains the PIN of the customer whom you're issuing the invoice to. In addition to that, you have the invoice serial number and the invoice date. In the item section, you have to fill in the description of the items, the item HS code, the quantity rate VAT, and the total VAT amount and gross amount will be calculated and shown to you. For every successful, successfully pushed E-invoice, a QR code will be generated. You have a unique invoice identifier and the middleware serial number is always displayed on the e invoice. Now that you've taken a look at the e invoice part, let's look at the other features that we have for Kenya. You can issue credit notes. You can also handle your import and export transactions and generate VAT compliant returns. Let's take a look at the credit note. In order to create a credit note for an invoice, click on the invoice for which you wish to uh, create a credit note. Click on the three dots, click on create credit note option. The credit note screen will pop up with the customer details prefilled. Enter the amount that you wish to adjust against that invoice and then click on save. This credit will automatically be applied to your credit uh, to your invoice and the balance will be displayed to you. Let's look at import and export transactions. Uh, to handle import transactions for goods, you need to create a bill of entry. For that, you need to create a bill with only goods line items. Fill in all the details, save, and then click on the more option under the uh, on the right hand side toolbar. Under that, create bill of entry option will be displayed. Once you click on that, the bill of entry screen will be shown to you. Please fill in the bill of entry number, date, and paid through account. Also, enter the appropriate VAT and click on save. This helps you create a bill of entry for your goods bill. After you're done with this, if you have a service bill that you wish to create uh, an entry for, you can click on create e-slip note on the right hand side, fill in all the details like the e-slip number, date and pay through account, enter the tax details and click on save. Please understand that bill of entry is specifically for goods and e-slip is specifically for services. Apart from this, we have the VAT returns that are compliant by the KRA requirements. In order to generate a VAT return, Click on the reports tab in the left, left nav bar, uh, head to the VAT section and click on the VAT3 returns. Once you click on the VAT3 return, you will have an option to generate your return. 
click on generate new VAT return, fill in the required details, and your VAT return will be generated. The VAT return contains all the boxes required by the KRA. You can click on each of those boxes, find the details, and you can export the details from each of the boxes in CSV format. Take a look at all the boxes, see if the values are correct, and then you can mark it as filed. Clicking on the mark as file button. You can also share your report with all the users in your organization. Now that we've understood what uh, Zoho Books has to offer, let's try and understand who can actually use Zoho Books. Zoho Books can be used by accountants, business owners, and decision makers in Kenya who are working on transitioning from regular invoicing to electronic tax invoicing. Let's have a quick recap of what we've uh, gone through in this webinar. We got to know what e-invoicing is all about. We learned about the steps to enable e-invoicing. Then we saw how to create invoices using Zoho Books. Basically, you have to get a middleware device, get the public IP, fill in these details in your Zoho Books uh, e invoicing page, and then generate a regular e invoice. We also learned about the other features that we have for the Kenya region. Now that we've walked through all this,